Greetings to all the race fans tuning in today. We're joining you from the Le Mans circuit for live coverage of the Moto3 race at the Grand Prix de France. The weather is fine and the temperature is perfect for racing. So we're just waiting to find out which riders have opted for hard tyres and which have gone for the soft. Alrighty, yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to MotoGP17 for another race in this sort of recreation that we are doing of the 2018 MotoGP World Championship. Today, it's the Le Mans Grand Prix, or French Grand Prix as I should say. So first up is Moto3 as per usual and we'll jump straight into this one without any further ado the track is super hot so it's going to be super greasy it's going to be super slippery we're going to have to do our best to try and stay on the bike especially with that nasty turn one for those that don't know Le Mans it is quite a scary turn one around here on a bike you sort of go flying around this flat out right hander into what is a very sharp and quick left right hard on the brakes it's probably the scariest braking zone in the entire year so we'll definitely have some issues there. We've just got to try and get through the first couple laps and get away as we are starting on the pole. So hopefully this can be a nice and smooth sailing race. So once again, if this is your first time tuning into my, um, to my MotoGP sort of series that I got going on, we are using a full 2018 mod, so it looks and feels just like the new season of MotoGP, although it is on last year's game. So as you can see, we've got all the new riders for this year. And since the last race, I've actually gone and got a performance update. So all the riders should be exactly where they are in real life. Within reason. <laughs> Although I don't think Bulliga should be that far down. And Foggia. But oh well. The riders have just completed their warm-up lap. They're lined up on the Le Mans starting grid. Just a few more seconds left. And then the French Grand Prix will get underway. All right, La France, time to boogie. Quick, come across, cover that inside line. It's a good start. Oh my god, this turn one is so difficult. Under the bridge for the first time. Just a reminder to everyone, this is the Bugatti circuit, so it's the shorter version of the Le Mans track. I mean, doing the full circuit here at Le Mans on a bike would be quite deadly. Plus, I actually prefer this track, it's a lot easier. <laughs> oh, there goes Martin. Freight trained. Cut back. Now, for some reason, I've been really slow this weekend in this final sector, so I've got to try and sort it out. Not quite sure what I'm doing wrong, but they seem to be a good second quicker than me in this final sector, and I just have no idea why. <laughs> oh, elbows out. Now, it's going to take me a few laps to get used to the bike because. I am on the medium tyre, I was actually using the soft tyre the whole way through practice and qualifying so I've had the warm up session, that's about it, <laughs> to get used to this medium tyre. It's the first time I've ran the medium tyre all year on the Moto3 bike. This track just seems to be quite hard on the tyres compared to most. It's weird, when I look at it from above, like from a track map, I wouldn't have thought it'd be that bad. But, turns out it is. I was holding turn one flat in qualifying, but I'm taking it easy now as it is the first couple of laps. Oh, that's deep. Pull it up. Apex is back there somewhere. Oh, 
just gotta get that head down and pull away. This is on the hardest difficulty for those that are tuning in for the first time. I do like to keep all my racing games on the hardest difficulty possible. so hard to get this section right, especially when you're trying to control a bike with a video game controller. <laughs> I am playing on the PC, but I'm using a PS4 controller, so it's quite difficult. <laughs> oh, hop that curb. And that one. And that one. So, in the USA, and at Jerez, we managed to pull away from the field. I'm just trying to do the same here. Haven't quite had as much pace as what we did at those races. Take it nice and easy through the section. Too much curb. It's alright. Slowly gapping them. 12 lap race, so it's around half of what it is in real life, so we've still got a long way to go. The good thing here is that for the most part the curbs are nice and flat so you can sort of end up on top of them without too many issues. But no, I cannot wait to watch the Grand Prix this weekend. It's going to be so cool. I must admit it would be cool if Zarko could do it in his home race. You know, the hardest thing to do on MotoGP 17 is to be consistent, so we have the pace, just need to be consistent. Ah, this is a lot to get used to. I've had to make the bike super uh, responsive to all the inputs I'm putting into it. which So I can get through these sort of quick left-right corners nice and quick, but it means that some of the corners that are relatively normal often have to take sort of two moments to turn the bike in or else I'll end up on the curb and low-siding the thing. Nice. Alright, that gap's slowly growing. We've got Bassanini in second now. I swear all those tie marks went there last time I came through. Curb slap, thank God. I 
Yeah, so I can't believe this is the first track that I've actually had to use the medium tyre, and it's the first track that I've had to really rely on the traction control. Ugh. Just power sliding it out of there. These are some good consistent laps, is what I wanted. Oop, that's a lot of curb. No, we seem to be doing a little bit of a circa Danny Kent on his KTM Leopard or whatever it was from a couple of years back where he dominated by miles in every single race which in Moto3 is ridiculously hard to do too deep. Oops. Gosh, I'm starting to feel that rear tyre going away already and we're only halfway. Thankfully we've got a massive lead to sort of fall back on. Five seconds now. I thought that was off. Okay, so I haven't been using traction control, that's why. <laughs> I don't know why it does that on this game. On MotoGP 17, if you set the traction control in one session, the next session will just go back to being off. And I just keep forgetting to put it on. There we go, that's nice. Money. Overslowed. God, it's such a fine line on this game in every aspect. Braking, steering, throttle. Just got to be right on the money every time. That traction control's better out of there now.
Alright. Nice Sunday ride right now. Try and keep it going. That's wide. Running those sort of consistent mid forty fours right now. Brain fade. Well, I know this hasn't been the closest of races, but definitely stay tuned for Moto2 and MotoGP later on. That'll be uploaded after this one, so that hopefully will be a much closer race, although I do need a win in both categories, <laughs> if I'm honest. Seriously struggling so far in Moto2 this year, and then in MotoGP just haven't quite had the run of things, to be honest. We've had good pace. Just have not been able to get it done. Got very close to winning the Coda race at the Circuit of the Americas. Or the American Grand Prix. But unfortunately came together with Petrucci on the last lap, which ended all hopes of that. A lot of curve. Oh, and we're going to go straight on. Woo! Uh, keep it straight through the gravel. Alright, nothing happened. Yes, I had to turn uh, corner cuts off because for some stupid reason this game has the worst corner cutting thing ever. Basically, if you run slightly off the track, it gives you like a two-tenth penalty and then a three-tenth penalty. Oh, that's not the track. 
Mm. Say if I was to do that, I'd probably get like I'd get like a one tenth penalty where it'd be like added to my race time at the end of the race, which is ridiculous. So I had to turn that off. But I do try my best to keep inside the <laughs> the lines. Because I do want to keep it as realistic as possible. Last lap. What a race. Been easy picking so far. Just got to rotate one more circuit. Can't remember what the word for in French for laps. I, I did race in France once in real life. Back when I was a uh, well, when I was wait, racing in real life on four wheels, not two wheels, of course. I have no two-wheel background at all, which is probably why I don't sound like I know anything about two wheels, because <laughs> I don't. But yeah, no, I raced in a small town called Salbury. It was in karting, of course. Hopefully one day I'll get to visit the Colosseum, well not Colosseum, but the classic track of Le Mans. Oh, that was interesting. Almost killed myself on the last lap, wouldn't be the first time. Last corner. Woohoo! Three from three in Moto 3. I like it. Too easy. Alright. 9.93 seconds was the gap. Too easy. So, Bastanini, second, Jorge Martin, third, Philip Ertel, fourth, Aaron Kennett, fifth, Alonso Lopez, sixth. And as we go down, Foggia all the way from the back up to 11th, and Bulliger as well from dead last up to 15th. So, two teammates didn't do too bad. Of course, I would have liked a Sky Racing Team VR46, one, two, three, like we did in Jerez, but, ah, oh well.